Hi, this is Bobby. Today I wanted to talk about a friend of ours and a brother of ours named Russell Lane. And sadly, he died this past Saturday on February 17th as a result of persecution. So I just wanted to honor him and share a little bit about his life. And so he's somebody that I just met recently, about four months ago on YouTube. And, you know, he's our brother. He's a brother in Christ and he's a friend of ours. He always had positive things to say, positive comments. And he was very excited about the good news that he was learning. And, you know, he really... He had a difficult life. It was rough in many ways. But then four months ago, when he found truth, everything started to turn around in his life. And he learned truth about the goodness of our father. He learned that he's not a killer, a cursor, a maker sicker. You know, he was able to lose that Old Testament image of God and see our father for uh, who he really is, which is light. And in him is no darkness at all. He came to see father as a life giver, as a lover, as a blesser, which is the character that Jesus revealed to us. And so not only did he learn about the goodness of God, but he also learned about the full salvation that Jesus had paid for. And as a result of these things, as a result of coming to know our Father better, better as a result of coming to know Jesus better and what Jesus has done to set us free, he was experiencing many good things in his life that were growing over the past four months. You know, he had been growing in faith, first of all. He had been growing in love for God and love for people. He experienced healing in his body and in his soul. You know, so he was being healed and delivered from things that he was struggling with in those areas. Not only that, but he had family relationships were beginning to mend and miraculous things happened where family members that were estranged came, came forth. Uh, after, you know, after we prayed together. So good things were happening. Financial blessings happened. Other blessings ha happened. So his life was completely turning around and going in a good direction from, from learning the truth about Jesus and our Father and the Holy Spirit. And um, not only that, but Russell also believed in the authority that Jesus has given to us. He also came to believe in the healing power of the Holy Spirit, whom we have received from our Father. And so with that, he, he put it into practice. You know, Jesus gives us authority, not only for our own benefit, but so we can help people around us. Our Father gives us the Holy Spirit for our own benefit, but also to help those around us. And so Russell was doing something with this knowledge. He was going around, you know, he lives in the UK, and he was going about on the streets, and he was preaching, he was healing the sick, he was seeing real results happening. Um, people were being set free of various afflictions and things that they were dealing with. And um, he was actually doing what Jesus commissioned us to do in Mark 16. You know, Jesus commissioned us to preach the good news to the poor. He commissioned us to cast out demons in his name, to lay hands upon the sick and they will recover. And so Russell, he was doing this and he was setting people free in Jesus name. Amen. Sadly, however, in the process of doing this, um, just in January, you know, some weeks ago, he was attacked by a group of people and they beat him up with gun butts and he suffered a concussion in the process of the beating. Somehow he ended up in a dumpster and tragically the dump truck came or the garbage truck came when he was still in the dumpster. And so he was ended up in the, in the garbage truck and he got crushed in the crusher. And he lived through that, but he was crushed from the waist down and hospitalized. And he had many surgeries trying to basically put things back together. And sadly, he died of a complication in surgery just this past Saturday. And I just wanted to say that, you know, I love Russell. He was doing good things. He loved God. He loved people around him. He was bold. He was courageous. He was he was confronting confronting things that he saw, you know, he was coming against evil. He was helping people. He was setting them free. He was standing in faith. And I just wanted to just honor him for what he was doing. And it's sad. You know, we love him. He died a tragic, you know, painful, terrible death. And I feel really bad about that. But he died a martyr. He's the only person I know that's died 
because of doing the gospel, because of spreading the good news. And I just wanted to honor him and say, Russell, we love you. We remember you. And God bless you, Russell. And I wanted to also just say a few things. Recently, I did a teaching called To Die is to Gain. And I did not do this teaching in anticipation of this thing happening to Russell. But let us refer back to this and let us be encouraged by what the Bible says. The Bible says that Russell, he has everlasting life with God. He was a believer in Jesus and he has everlasting life with God, with our Father, with the Son, with the Holy Spirit. As Paul said, it is well pleasing to be absent from the body and be present with the Lord. And so right now, Russell is experiencing that goodness. Jesus said that it's such a profound thing to be in the presence of our Father that his disciples should have been happy for him that he was going to die and go be with Father. That was a conversation Jesus had in John uh, in the chapters between 14 to 16. And there he was having that final conversation with them. And he said he's going to be with the Father. And they should have been rejoicing for him because it was so good despite all the pain and suffering that he was going to go through. So being in the presence of our Father is far beyond anything that we have ever imagined. And right now, Russell's experiencing that. Okay, as Paul said, um, to live as Christ, to die is gain. And so from Paul's perspective, the Holy Spirit speaking through him, when we die, there is a great gain to be had. We will leave this earth and we will be present with Jesus. Jesus said to the thief on the, cr on the cross, today you will be with me in paradise. Amen. So today, our brother Russell, he is with Jesus in paradise. Not only that, but Jesus has prepared a place for him. He has prepared a mansion for Russell in our father's house. And he's in all goodness right now. He's in the love of God right now, face to face with our father and with Jesus. Not only that, Russell now has a glorified body. The Bible tells us that when we see Jesus, that we will be made like him. And it says that we will receive a glorious body like what Jesus had as resurrected Christ. And we know that that's a spiritual body of some kind that's able to eat and drink and go through walls and zip from heaven to earth and back and forth and whatever else Jesus could do. So it's a glorified, powerful, unsickable, unkillable, unharmable body. And Russell now has that. Also, um, the Bible says that there's no more suffering. There will be no more tears, no more sorrow, no more crying. There will be no more sickness and no more pain. There will be no more death. And so all those things are passed away. And now Russell only has goodness. He has our Father. He has Jesus. He has Holy Spirit. And he's in a good place. And so I just want to say, again, Russell, we love you. God bless you. Thank you for the good things that you have done. Thank you for being bold and courageous and setting an example for us. Thank you for not being shy ever and talking to people and sharing Jesus with them despite the circumstances. You're a great man of God, Russell, and we love you. So also right now, let's just pray for his loved ones. So Daddy, we just thank you for our brother, Russell. Thank you, Jesus, that he had salvation through you. Thank you that he knew you, he loved you, he believed in you, and he's with you forevermore. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you inhabited him and you helped him and you taught him and you led him into all truth. Thank you that you gave him boldness and courage to help people. And thank you that many people were set free by, by your presence and your power working in and through him to help people around him. We thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are the comforter. And Holy Spirit, we just ask you right now to comfort all the loved ones of Russell. Comfort the doctors even who had who had worked on him trying to save his life comfort them console them teach them fill them with wisdom fill them with hope and a positive mindset for the next patient that they will have and and all the future ones that they have we just ask you work mightily through the doctors they may not at, at this time know how to use your power but bless all the work of their hands so that they are able to help many people Amen. We also ask you, Daddy, in the name of Jesus, to lead all the doctors into faith, all those who are around him in those final moments. We ask you to just encourage them in faith and in hope 
draw them into Christ. And we thank you for that. And in the name of Jesus, we pray for the persecutors. Daddy, we say, just like Jesus did, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So we ask you, Daddy, forgive them of their sins. We ask you to bring them to salvation, bring them into Christ, transform their lives. And we thank you, and we love you, and amen.